Hello guys, Rad here from Rad Pizarot and I do want to let you know that the extended monthly reading which focus in depth into a career and uh, relationship life for the representative side uh, sign are now available for just as little as uh, one dollar. So if you want to um, if you want to go more in depth for your star sign and you like my readings in the way I read, you can uh, purchase these extended videos on my website, uh, either going there uh, from your browser or uh, just, you know, visiting the link that is displayed down below in the description of this video. And uh, <clears throat> that way you can purchase those videos. So it's like getting a, a two additional readings to the general reading of the month which is totally free the general one and it is on my youtube channel and um, for those who are more prone you know to know everything they can purchase for just three dollars their sun moon and ascendant sign and that way they are gonna have six reading to kind of like piece together and to and to obtain the biggest picture ever for what is yet to come for them into this representative month and the price is that low because I want to show you um, my appreciation for your loyalty and support. And in case you want to uh, support the channel furthermore, that is the way you do it. So with that being said, I just wish you best of luck and please enjoy your monthly general tarot reading. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye. Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising Monthly Tarot Reading July 2018 So we got a, a 4 position spread for Pisces and that is going to be the first position that expresses up the Pisces topic of the month Then the second position shows up the Pisces challenges that they need to face during the month of July then the third position that shows up the uh, positivity that July has to offer for Pisces and last card expresses up the uh, final outcome or the result of the first three positions and as this is an enhanced spread we are going to use two cards per position so the first card for the topic of the month that will be the eight of wands like this with uh, in addition that is going to be the king of cups so for what it seems that we are having a, a people this isn't just a person guys this is a a, a people that could be a couple of persons that could be a, a whole society as well but the bottom line is that here the king of cups is interpreted as a, a very tempting offer that you're going to receive in conjunction with the eight of wands now these offers so this is going to be a month of offers that you're going to receive Pisces and these offers needs to be um are very swiftly either deflected or taken in because the eight of wands does expresses up a very um, huge flow of events all right or rather very dynamic flow of events and uh, we have to or kind of like you Pisces have to prone on your creativity in order to scale out which offer will be best to be taken and which one should not be taken. Now what is here, uh, what characteristic here of the King of Cups needs to be taken under consideration is that offer needs, uh, these offers needs to be kind of like scaled based on your professionalism. Alright, so what we talk about here is that you need to involve yourself only in those kind of enterprises and offerings that are going in your way, that you are feeling yourself 100% secure, that you will be able to pull, pull them out, alright, or kind of like push them through. Because the Eight of Wands is as much as positive card that is for opportunities and for a, a very kind of like, you know, a lucky time, it is also a very unstable card saying that, uh, you know, the right choice is anybody's guess, alright? So we would rather want to be more professional with our approach than, um, than immature and cheerful, alright, when it comes to it, because uh, you could involve yourself into 
into situations which um, they will either eat a lot of your time or uh, they will make you kind of like you know do things that you don't want to so it is basically this month you have to be a little bit more calculative than the situations that you are involved so it, it ultimately falls to you how the month is going to go on forward and those who um, who are initiative all right and those who very well know where they, their interest lies they will have the most benefit from that particular month and then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here that is going to be the two of pentacles which totally resonates with the first couple of cards with the ten of swords all right so um uh, you have to make up your mind that is going to be the challenge all right so you cannot be hesitant any longer you cannot be reluctant when it comes to offering and not just when it comes to offering but when it comes to compromises now these couple of cards here shows as a challenge is that you have to stop with uh with giving if you want to say forgiveness constantly uh, for example um, if you uh, if a colleague that you're working at uh, for a quite a long time constantly messes up constantly screws up etc etc and you constantly tell them that yo know, it, it is okay dude I, I, I will take um, I will take care of it etc etc just from the bottoms of your heart that should stop the compromises guys it has to be over with them now you need to slam upon the table here with that with these cards on a challenge and you need to make your demands uh, you need to make your irrevocable decisions you know you need to make your irreversible actions if you want to say it that way so you can clear up a space for those opportunities coming in your way so you have to become a little bit more um, consistent okay uh, instead of uh, mother Teresa if I may say it that way the two of pentacles with the ten of swords it is it is about establishing a plan establishing pattern it is about um you know uh, making strategy and your strategy needs to be made around your interests not around someone else's interest ten of swords that's that because the ten of swords is also promising new era but that era only can come when you're tough all right when you show that People cannot take advantage of you. Situations cannot take advantage of you unless they don't pay for that particular service. And then we do have uh, the positivity. That is going to be the six of wands. So it does look like that you will have your accommodations. You will have your rewards here with the hangman. Wow. All right. So first of all, a little bit more specific to be in these cards. These cards speaks that you will be a, a crisis manager or rather you will be the savior of the day, either in career or either into a relationship. People will seek you to, uh, as I said, clean up their mess. And as um, I very much like the uh, Batman, the uh, Black Knight, and what the Joker said there, if you can do something well, you never do it for free. And it's exactly what you need to do. So it does look like here that you can stockpile a lot of money or kind of like you can start making money uh, with uh, your services, additional services. And just to give you an example here, uh, let's say that you are a teacher and um, people may seek you to uh, pay more attention to their children, you know, because they're not having uh, good grades in, in class. Well, that could happen, of course, for a private classes. You know, it, it is only fair that your knowledge needs to be uh, kind of like compensated in a certain way. So that's the bottom line of the month. It, it will be the way you make it. And if you kind of like waste your talents if you waste your knowledge or your skills for free at the end it doesn't look like that is going to go very well but if you know your price you know and if you accept the rewards that the fate gives to you based on the previous toils you have put behind your education you know behind mastering certain skills etc etc then you will be able to um kind of like benefit a lot from the month and not to mention that this month could 
present you with a new era that is going to uh, start taking place either into your career or either into your relationship. But let's go a little bit more general with these cards. These cards are speaking that now situations that have been set on how are now set back in stir and you are going to reach a, a particular minds, milestone based on a, a very thorough preparation before that. So it does look like that an ex execution of your idea or a project will be uh, kind of marked with a, a partial your success which is more than you want at this particular moment because this um, this project goes further into the future it is not just a short-term one it is a long-term these cards speaks for a long-term one all right and that could be the application for a mortgage that it is approved for after a a, a long-term applications in the different banks you know that could be uh, the very well desired job or the very well desired person that you have chased for quite a while etc etc but a bottom line here with these couple of cards is that just because you have that partial success Success, it doesn't mean that you have to stop the flawless performance here just on the contrary no time to rest guys when you reach that milestone and partial success you have to double time it so you can um, sustain it sprule it and make it a, a long-term one and the results of all that will be the six of swords with the uh, Eight of Pentacles. So for what it seems that card points that you will be involved in many new activities, all right? These cards are pointing that <clears throat> you will, uh, how can I place it? Um, things that you have found very hard to execute in the past, for example, uh, topics that, uh, that you have found very hard to talk about with your partner, let's say, now you will be able to actually talk about those topics with ease and actually reach a, a very big agreement. That is what these cards are pointing, that whatever have been hard for you to do in the past, now you will have the mindset, the um, this this the position the standpoint and as well not and as well the uh the uh, uh what is what is the english word here guys um the perspective to make it with much more ease these cards are pointing that nothing is happening by a chance all right after that month as a success everything happened as i said uh, based on your thorough preparation before that and a very careful uh, created strategy. Six of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles <clears throat> are the cards that says that you do deserve that breakthrough and a breakthrough it is what you're going to have. And that breakthrough is going to come from one of those offerings which are happening throughout the month. You just need to find out which one that is. And that will happen when you stop making compromises with yourself and with your skills and you actually accept the rewards that the fate is given to you. So with that being said, Pisces, I hope that you will really make the most out of those kind of uh, opportunities or uh, offers that are coming towards you due July 2018 and basically that was the general tarot reading I hope you enjoyed it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time bye